is um, basically one or one or each of you needed to do needed to go on a different path to collect things to come back together at some point or you needed to to break uh, to take that break in order to gather more knowledge and info and growth separately. I do see a potential of this coming back together, though. This is this is some kind of like soul contract stuff here. This is heavy duty stuff. This is stuff that lasts, you know, lifetimes and eons and all this stuff. Let's get just get a quick message. If you're going through this, what does that look like? If this is a soulmate coming back in. Yeah, you're being called out to use discernment here. Okay, use discernment, take all that energy and put it into your creativity here. There's going to be, there's a lot of sexual energy here if this is a partner. You're being called to remember the ancient wisdom. And I've got sacred space coming up here in reverse. So discernment was the first one that came out. I think that's a great thing. Okay, this keeps coming up when I ask about your you know your abundance your bounty so you guys must be really thinking of this relationship or this partnership as your bounty okay let's ask about financial career stuff specifically for cancer sun moon rising and venus what does that look like please okay king of wands hermit card right King of Wands, Hermit card, and Temperance, the Earth Angel. Again, they're kind of repeating themselves. It's like they've told us everything already. I think your, your financial abundance is coming from something that you are directly in control of. It has to do with your skill set, your gifts, your knowledge that you're sharing. Okay? I feel like you're a light bringer. You're a healer. And that can look like music. It can look like teaching. It could be a number of different vocations. But that's what's happening. You are bringing in the abundance yourself. You are manifesting this through your work and your, um, you know, going up levels here to come at life from a more mature level. You're going to be teaching and guiding others is what I'm hearing. Whatever that project looks like. And that's where your financial abundance is going to come in from. Okay. Yeah. I've got the judgment card coming in. I think there's going to be some changes here soon for you. Um, we've got a page of pentacles. We've got wish fulfillment coming in here. There's very possible that, again, you are bringing this in. You might keep studying. You might keep growing. Uh, but you are bringing in your own wish fulfillment here. And I think for a lot of you, it's going to end this scarcity. It's going to end the scarcity mindset even. And I think that's been part of this. If someone's been really traumatized, it brings in fear, which brings in scarcity and deprivation and, you know, that mindset, that energy. And you are creating your own abundance, your own manifestations, your own dream comes true. They're, what I hear is they're not dependent on anyone. You're bringing in your own sunshine. Yay, you, Cancer. Yay, you. I'm going to pull out a karma card here. So that's career. Wow, these are like, th as a full-time job, serving, do a little at a time. Might want to look out, uh, look at what's in your sixth house. Okay, so you're living a life of service for some something. I've got three of these that popped out for you. I'm going to read all three. By making the right connections, the idea and questions, and get your ideas going here. This is in the third house. Okay, and then I have stir up the situation by using, be open to new ideas, invent a way. Yeah, you're doing this all your way. I've got one more. Wow, I didn't know there were four. For humanity's sake, how amazing is this? Your hopes and wishes, do it for the future in the 11th house. Okay, again, you are doing this all on your own. You have manifested this. You are making this happen. This is so beautiful. I wish I could like 
take all the energy of this reading, reading and like put it in a bottle and like send it to you. And every time you had any lingering piece of self-doubt, you could like open it. Okay. Because this is truly amazing. Um, yeah, you're just waiting on a little bit more clarity guys. Okay. And I think this is just part of the flow now. You're figuring things out as you go along. There's no perfectionism. Wow, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Unbelievable. You are going to be successful in your own right. And that may be why they brought up the discernment. Like watch what comes in when you gain all this kind of success. And people, you know, start coming back around. Right? Are they coming in for the right reasons? Okay? Yeah, I've got a King of Cups here that needs to still do some work. So, pay attention. All right? Now, let's get into uh, a relationship reading for you. While I'm grabbing these cards here and cleaning up just a little bit, I wanted to mention too, if you know, you can claim this, I am making my own abundance. I am my own abundance, right? Because that's, you know, it's, it's kind of true here. And um, let's find out what's going on in your love life. I am actually going to leave that temperance card out because I'm going to leave these three. I think each one of these kind of represents your energy right now. And let's leave out this nine of wands because it kept coming up. Okay. And let's ask, <coughs> excuse me, let's ask specifically about your love life here. I'm just going to get a general reading and then we're going to dive in. And this is for folks that, you know, wherever you are, whether you're in a relationship you know, whether you're single right now, uh, whether you're waiting to re, you know, whether you're separated and not divorced and waiting to get back together. Okay. I mean, the main thing of that general first part of the reading is that you're smart enough now and you're seasoned enough now to know you just need to focus on yourself and let whatever comes in, comes in. You'll deal with it then and there, or you'll take the time you need to figure it out. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of cards. Okay, I have a three of wands coming in in reverse here. I have a two of wands in reverse. I have the high priestess in reverse. Or no, excuse me, the defender. Oh, wow. I really feel like you guys have just not done anything in love or very little. You just don't want it. You, you really want to make sure that you're not repeating um, what happened before you're trying to cut ties with all that toxicity. And I do believe, I mean, you might have people around you, you might be dating or something, but I mean, like really committed. No, you're not, ex you're not quite excited about this yet. Okay. Spirit wants you to understand that that was then. And this is now. Okay. And that in order to be happy, you kind of have to open yourself up to love. Okay, and, and not just in a relationship. What I'm seeing here is that some of you have kind of, you know, you closed off your heart a little bit because you got hurt so badly. There are people that are around you that are interested in you. As I mentioned, that other energy, there may or may not be um, you may or may not have met, you know, like the one. Yeah, but you are, are getting ready to pull it in here. Love of a lifetime, soulmate, okay? And this is, I feel like, why you guys have been kind of, like, kind of taking your time here. Chemistry, attraction, and then we got give your relationship a chance, and that came up in the reverse. So I feel like this was something in the past that you said, okay, I will, and I hear somebody saying like, I will never let anybody talk to me like this again. I will never let anybody treat me like this again. And that includes yourself, right? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. 
okay? And I feel like part of this is this Nine of Wands, okay? I feel like, because this is your passions, this is your creativity, and I feel like you've been doing so much of, you've been kind of taking all that energy and putting it in, into projects, and really, because you, you know, you're not sure about love. Um, I feel like either you or your partner had issues with um, possibly addictions, codependency, people-pleasing, Okay, and I do see that for some of you, the time of separation is going to be over and you're going to try, somebody's going to try and recapture some kind of romance that was there before. Um, you are being told to kind of lighten up a little bit. Okay, like just look at the reading, go back and look at the reading. You have everything coming to you. You've built this framework. You're ready here or not. Like, you don't have to have love come into your life right now. Or you can keep it at arm's length. Yeah. Breathe. Just breathe. You're doing an awful lot right now. Okay? Like, don't bring in more decisions that have to be made. You're kind of in the building block process here. So give yourself a break. I'm literally hearing that. And whoever this is... You're calling in a soulmate, which I do see for some of you is like, I'm literally seeing like right around the corner, right around the corner. Okay. They will wait for you if they're, if they're, if they want you and they love you and they're the right person, they're going to wait for you to process. Doesn't mean you don't communicate that. You know, we want to have high level communication here if you want, you know, right? Oh my goodness. And they fell on the floor, excuse me. Okay, so I'm asking about, you know, the course of this, the, the relationship, the love life for you here. And I've got this eight of pentacles. I've got this page of pentacles and I've got this judgment. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you are ready you're getting ready to say, you're actually getting ready to maybe go out and put yourself out there. I feel like a lot of you have just not even done that. Like if, you know, if it magically happens, you know, I'm kind of staying here in my place and doing this and doing that. And if it magically happens, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm not going to go out and look for it. I see some of you actively starting to do that. Like you're starting to say, okay, I want to go meet people. I want to go have fun. I want to go... Uh, possibly start dating again, you know, the war's over. And I do see that there's been a lot of change for you. <sighs> Someone, you know, some of you could have some family members that are trying to get you to go around people to meet people. Um, again, be discerning. You don't want to repeat any past patterns. But yeah, I, I see you kind of having, you know, your sword up here. Like, oh yeah, I'll go. I'll have fun. I'll talk. I'm just going to be very discerning. Okay. And when I was asking about what was coming in, <laughs> you get all this out of the way. I asked what was coming in for you. I have a king of pentacles here. This is somebody that has taken their time and built something very sturdy built something very stable and trustworthy, something that's replicating. You know, they might be someone that has like sources of passive income is kind of what I'm seeing here. Like they're able to spend time doing other things because they have their, you know, their stuff together so much. Okay, like I literally hear somebody saying like, I make money in my sleep, okay? You know, there's a lot of opportunity for that these days, okay? And then I have this Empress energy. I have a Four of Swords. I really feel like this Empress energy is you folks, okay? Um, the seventh might be the seventh of either the month, the date. Uh, someone, seven, seven is going to be important. And I think there was another sign too. I think it was Libra. Where that was kind of important. Libra is an air sign, which is interesting. Because you've been showing a lot of air with the swords. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
I feel like I feel like it's a very good possibility that you guys might meet each other on on some kind of a retreat or a break or soon after you meet you might take this break okay and then I've also got this four of wands this is going to feel like like you're building something that's going to last here okay I feel like this person has recently this is either you or them has recently broken off from a situation and they see you as the queen of cups like this is in the past and then they see you as this they see you as this empress and this queen of cups like the love of their life is what i'm hearing and they're they're scared about coming forward to talk to you they're scared about taking the action they're you know they're gonna say they're afraid that they're gonna scare you off because they know kind of what you've been through but really this is about them okay um they are still kind of healing from something that was pretty magnanimous now again this i could be talking to you instead of your person however this resonates but there was a lot of like mindset stuckness and um inaction and you know, feeling like there was a lot of drama and resistance and this person has gotten through all of this, but that's what's causing them to be a little bit tentative. Like they're, what it, you know how, um, the wound is still tender. You know how, like if you, if you hurt yourself, you know, even though the skin is all healed up and it's all healed up that you, it's still tender in that spot. That's what I'm getting. They are going to get the clarity that they need. What is this going to progress like, please? Okay. This is all going to balance out. This person needs a chance to do their own self-regulation. It's not just you that has been burned before, right? This person needs their own chance to understand that, yeah, to understand what's happening to them. that's interesting yeah there's a lot of passion here and for some people that can be really rather scary like they don't know what to do like they feel so euphoric or you know some people don't know what to do with joy right don't know how to feel like they're feeling so much they're so see i've got it again chemistry okay it's time to take back control of your life and I'm getting they're gonna want it it might feel like everybody wants to kind of rush around here and you're being told not to you're being told to enjoy every moment of this and to stay playful go slow is what I'm hearing no reason to rush this you'll miss the dance I've said this how many times now in readings right you don't want to miss the dance We've got scleranthus. Okay, balance. Number 28, which goes into a 10. This this is some kind of cycle completion here when you guys come together. Okay. Somehow it's you know literally balancing the scales. We've got agrimony. Number one. Wow wow and we've got water violet in the reverse number 34 okay whether you realize it or not you both fought battles on so many layers to have this happen to have have you guys come together here and again i am speaking of someone that will never treat you poorly Okay, I mean, people get upset and they say things, right? But, you know, occasionally throw out the irritated comment or something, right? But I'm saying this person will never direct anything like that at you. That's because they fixed their life. They've got their own life together, but they are going to value you, okay? And give you everything that you deserve. And I mean that spiritually, you guys are in the same place financially um i think this person is is fine 
And I think you are going to be, if you're not already, one of the energies is catching up financially. The other one's already set. And the one that's catching up financially is the one that has all the knowledge uh, spiritually and heart knowledge. And that the person that's financially ready is kind of catching up on that. But this is all going to balance out. We've got a balancing of the yang energy. We've got breathe. We've got a change in the wind. And then we have building blocks again. Step by step, um, somebody might be going on a vacation together. I see somebody maybe taking like seriously like a month long vacation together. Because I, somebody is not understanding the magnanimity, the magnanimity, magnanimity, ugh, magnanimous <laughs> aspect of this relationship. Or they don't trust it and this the other person is gonna be like okay fine you know let's let's go away for like a month let's go do something let's go volunteer let's go work on a project on a business something like that so we can get to know each other it's a you know with a little bit of a buffer so until you figure it out okay some of you um, could have children you could be having a child together you could literally be raising your inner children here. Um, you could already be pregnant and this is not the person that got you pregnant. I'm actually seeing that. If you're pregnant when you meet this person, obviously, right? I just want you to know that that's, that's out here. Okay? It's out here and as a possibility that someone that who is not your son, your your baby's parent is going to step up here and step up big time for you. And it's perfect. They're just what you, it just flows so well here. Yeah, I've got, there's a gentleness about this person, cosmic child. Um, if you are getting pregnant, know that you are bringing in like an indigo here. Okay. This child picked you guys as the parents. That's really interesting. Okay, this reading is getting long. Let me get an oracle card out here for you, Cancers. I'm seeing lots of names. I'm seeing like old Celtic names here. There's some ancient wisdom uh, that surrounds you guys. Uh, you could have, you know, I'm getting this really ancient sacred past lifey energy stuff deep replenishment retreat rest and be held yeah i i feel like you guys are building a sanctuary and they, um this person might already have the sanctuary built and then they're going to come in and be like okay now you make this yours like you here's your own space make it whatever you want i'll pay for it i got you okay you guys could be doing this together because I feel like you're going to be doing some other aspect of this. We've got play again, and we've got men talking, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. You know, all of us here on the planet have kind of had these feelings where it's kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, not, this 3D is really dense, right? You kind of have to work with it. Um, Kind of have to feel your way through it until you get to a point where it's not so difficult. And um, that that's the reason that you guys are melding together so well. You guys are both light bringers. You guys are both uh, very spiritually in tuned. I think the other, like one person I was mentioning, the finances versus the spiritual. One person knows how to manifest externally with the financial and the 3D stuff and the other one does it spiritually. So, and, and you're both kind of almost in the same place here. We've got the luminal dance, delicacy, fragility, and transience. Don't forget to enjoy the dance. Full moon temple, didn't I say that I felt like something was going to happen here before the next full moon. I've also got the 27th celebration peak transcendent moment. 
I feel like you guys are going to know immediately when you meet each other. There's going to be this energy like these sparks. I feel like people around you, even if you're not seeing it, are going to be like, wait, um, I saw it. I was over across the room and I saw it. There's a glow, an emanation. The secret of Camelot, the authority of spirit. That's why I think this works. I think you guys both understand, okay, that spirit has to come first. The divine, the source has to come first here. I've got the healing temple of the lunar light, life cycles, energy, healing, and communication on the bottom of the deck here. All right, Cancers, I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to take good care of yourselves. Claim all this bounty that's coming in for you. This is absolutely amazing, okay? You literally have uh, brought in your own abundance. And I mean, built framework. You, you guys have just learned and, and grown so much. Um, it's like if you started an online business, you learned all the computer stuff to do it too. Okay, and these skill sets are going to pay off. And I think I need to tell you what spirit is telling me that that was to be, you know, your story is going to like, it's, it's almost like testimony or witness to other people. That's why it was difficult is because when other people hear your story, they're going to feel like they can do it too. That's why you went through a lot of what you went through. And it's definitely, you're like the phoenix rising here. Seven came up again. Right? Okay. Hey, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.